Hey guys, thanks for checking out my last vlog. I really appreciate it. And Peter, this was my face when I realised you commented on my last video. If if any of you guys looked at my bulletin post type thing, uh, you would have read that I wrote that I was going to do a vlog about social space which you're probably thinking why is she doing a vlog about social space it's social space it's got nothing to do with youtube or vloggingness type whatever but it came up in my, one of my lectures and uh one of the comments on my previous video by not as funny as we think my lovely husband Helena, suggested that i should do vlogs on filming on my course things that i like and social space has really got my attention and I'm probably going to do a really bad summary in about four minutes because it's really complex and to try and condense it into sort of governments probably not going to work but this course is about space and social space and one of the guys that writes about it is called the Ferb and he sort of has a triad of spatial definitions. You see, the first definition that Lefebvre gives of space is the space of representation. Now, this is the space in which you live, in which you experience everyday things, whether it's work, going to going to work, going to different places, public transport, and things like that. So. Places that you experience and and live. Uh, it's the space that you imagine in your mind when you think about things or you apply situations to different spaces. That kind of thing. Space you imagine or what you perceive space to be. Then you also have representational space, which is things like architecture drawings, uh, plans, and a really good example that I found that came up in the lecture is sort of just imagine your house or your room where you, where you are now and just imagine all the walls and all the doors and where and all you see are the sort of the structure of the room and sort of all the wires go in and out for electricity gas. Hello. The third then goes on to something called non-space. There are spaces which are there but are always there so you don't have sort of a unique identifiable view, it's all generic. In, in London if you go down Oxford Street you'll probably find five or six or probably more different coffee shops along the main road and a lot more on the side roads which are pretty much all the same brand of coffee shop. Uh, that's kind of a verb. I, I've probably really just blown your mind and you probably don't get it. Most of most of reverb's work is based on rhythm analysis where you where one looks at rhythms uh, in a certain space and find out which rhythms are more prominent and which are not. Um, it's really interesting and I know I've just babbled on and on but uh, yeah, uh, thanks for listening. Anyway, my next vlog will be in a two weeks' time. Not sure what it'll be on, but look in the comment. Uh, look at my bulletin posts on my channel page, and you'll get an idea. Um, but before I go, I'd like to say happy birthday to my friend Richard. Happy birthday! Woo! And the big twenty-one. And now I'm going to look really like a real fool and realise that he's not 21 and he's turning 22 or something. But I'm pretty sure he's turning 21. Um, I'm not going to make a video before your birthday or on your birthday. So I thought I'd give him a shout out to you now. So happy birthday and I look forward to seeing you on Friday. And until next time guys, don't forget to be awesome.